Take my mind off it and put my mind on the record. That's all. Yeah, no, it's as easy as that. As easy as that. Grenada, Bramwell, defending champion Jamaica, Nixon, Bahamas, and Moore, Barbados. Despite the hamstring issues, Bramwell still ran 47 39 to finish second Set. in the under 16 boys division at the Jamaican High School Championships. Away they go. Goes out a little bit quicker here, Nicole Bramwell, than he did in qualifying. Already surges by Nixon on the Bahamas on his outside. And the Jamaican goes flying down the back stretch. Nicoy Bramwell in full flight here in the under 17 boys 400 final. His countryman Paul Henry is also running well and moving through in lane number two. Under 200 meters to go. It's Bramwell with the advantage. If he can maintain this, this will be a race for the silver medal. The defending champion transitions down the home stretch. Paul Henry. His countryman holding second. The Grenadian is coming forward. That's Mathlin. Bramwell defends his title and Mathlin gets silver. Wow. Decor Bramwell had the field beat from the first 200 meters. Held on strongly down the home stretch. A terrific finish coming from Cameron Mathlin of Grenada to snatch the silver medal. It's joy for the home country as Jamaica wins another gold medal here in Grenada. And I think he is amazed by the time we are waiting for it. I think it's a championship record. It is. Usain Bolt, 47-33, has been removed by Nicole Bramwell. And it's all happening here at the Kirani James Stadium. Amazing performance from that young man. We knew he can go sub-47 given uh, what he's had to go through over the past couple of weeks in terms of trials in terms of uh, champs we didn't know what he would be able to produce here he's been struggling with injury but he was able to produce the goods in front of uh, the crowd here at the karani james stadium in a stadium named for a great champion world and olympic champion from grenada he was able to step up and take the gold medal Iga neely holds on for the bronze just holding off that young man from jamaica paul henry for third place on the home street what a race alien what a race incredible incredible he led from gun to tape never once looking compromised he looked straight strong the entire race um the story here of course being the grenadian finishing very very strong in front of the home crowd if you can hear the noise in the stadium you know it's just for him incredible energy to push him to second place and third place for the bahamian also looking great koi bramwell the 400 meter under 17 champion displacing or should i say replacing usain bolt as the holder how do you feel about achieving that feat replacing the great man himself well, it's a wonderful feeling knowing that i finally broke the record i've been eyeing it since the season started in summer last summer I've been eyeing the record, so it's a great feeling knowing that I could come out here and take it. Yeah, uh, we know that you were feeling a little bit of discomfort, uh, struggling with a little bit of injury uh, in your hamstring, but how were you able to put that behind you and then execute the race that you needed to? I just, put my, put my, I just take my mind off it and put my mind on the record, that's all. Yeah, no, it was as easy as that. As easy as that. <laughs> Congratulations to you, Nikoi. Yeah. And again, Nikoi Bramwell there, the new record holder in the boys' 400 meter under 17 category, replacing the great man, Usain Bolt. That record was in 2002. It now is moved in 2024. There's a new man in town. He's also Jamaican. Nikoi Bramwell is his name. No Guyana in lane number three, no surprise. Final girls event of Carifta 2024, the four by 400 for the under 20s. The Jamaicans being led off by Shanky Williams, medalist in the flat 400 meters. She goes on to Bahamas. Barbados also running well on this first leg. Jamaica, Barbados. That's the top two at the moment. 
Shaquille Williams running a storming first 300 meters like she usually does. She's not afraid to take on the pace, this young lady. And she's storming down the home stretch. Barbados looks as if they're in second position. Here they come to the first change. Jamaica, the handoff to the 400 silver medalist, Abigail Campbell. Barbados holding second position, Trinidad and Tobago back in third. They have a lot of ground to make up. Abigail Campbell leads for Jamaica. The advantage is pretty comfortable here. Frederick in third now for Trinidad and Tobago. 200 meters to run in this second leg. Still Abigail Campbell for Jamaica. The lead is massive. She's a 52-27, 400 runner. Passed in the closing stages of the under 2400 final by Tiana Springer of Guyana. But here she is, well clear in the 4x4, will not be passed. A titanic battle for silver between Trinidad and Tobago and Barbados as the Jamaicans go away. This is looking relatively easy here for the black, green and gold. The record is 331.47. I don't suspect that's on the threat. Trinidad and Tobago in second. Barbados in third. But some distance behind those two. And the in gap. the hunt for silver. Gap opening up. All the time, Trinidad and Tobago now clear of Barbados. The Bahamas trying to rally. They are in fourth. Grenada in fifth. Here's the final change. It's all Jamaica. Shanoya Douglas, she anchored them to 4 by one glory last night. She won the 200 meters earlier today. And now she has the glory leg to take the Jamaicans home at 4 by 4 What a correct game she's had. As she rightly pointed out earlier today, she did not achieve great things in the Bahamas last year. But she went back, she trained hard, and here she is. Kishona Niles is running the anchor leg for Barbados. They are in second. Trinidad and Tobago in third. We saw one sprinter anchor Barbados brilliantly at under 17. That was Anaya Nurse. was a brilliant anchor leg to get them bronze. Shanoya Douglas down the home stretch for Jamaica. She won't get the record, but it will be a really quick time for the Jamaicans. Douglas. Anchored at 4x1, won the 200, and now she comes across the line at 4x4. Big battle on for Silver. Who will get it? Will it be Barbados or will it be Trinidad and Tobago? It's TNT. And on anchor for Trinidad and Tobago, Janae de Gans. She won that tremendous gold medal earlier today. And now anchoring her team to Silver. Very interesting to see. <laughs> Ali Eliasu leaving off for Turks and Caicos Islands. Grenada, Turks and Caicos, Trinidad and Tobago, Jamaica and Bahamas. Lanes two to six. Set. Final of the under 17 boys, four by four. The Bahamas go out well. Tracked by the Jamaicans, Trinidad and Tobago moving well down the back straight away too. Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, Bahamas, the big three go through 200 meters together. Looks like Francisco Williams, the 400 herders bronze medalist on the opening leg for Jamaica. Trinidad and Tobago right there, Bahamas right there. The Trinbegonian stepping ahead now and taking charge. Bahamas also coming through well. Trinidad and Tobago just ahead of Bahamas and Jamaica. This is good stuff. This is close racing. Grenada in fourth position. They want to remain close. 
for Maslin when he gets the baton, but look at this for Grenada. They rush through to take the lead. Looks like Kimal Murray on this leg for Grenada. Now in third position, Robert Miller, the 400 hurdles champion and record holder, takes over for Jamaica. Trinidad and Tobago in second. Bahamas third. Grenada now back in fourth place. Trinidad and Tobago with Cheslin Gordon stepping up now to take over from Robert Miller and Jamaica. Trinidad and Tobago just ahead of the Jamaicans. The Jamaicans have the 800 champion Keandre Kelly on this third leg. Trinidad and Tobago right there with them. Remember the Jamaicans have the 400 champion Bramwell on the anchor leg. What a fine race we have between Jamaica and Trinidad and Tobago. The 800 man inches ahead for Jamaica. Trinidad and Tobago still fighting. Grenada are now in third position. And I think Mathlin is on anchor. Jamaica and Trinidad and Tobago. What a titanic battle in the under 17 boys, four by 400. Now the baton is with the 400 champion and record holder, Nicoy Bramwell. He has competition early, hot on his heels. Has a look around him, sees what's happening behind, knows that the Trinidad and Tobago athlete is coming. Cordy Lewis there on anchor for Trinidad and Tobago. Part of the Lewis twins, but Bramwell inches away for Jamaica. Steps on the accelerator, does the 400 under 17 record holder. He's making the gold medal save for Jamaica. Grenada will have a medal because Mathlin is on anchor. Whether it will be silver or bronze is to be seen. Jamaica will win gold outside the record. Bramwell shuts down. Trinidad and Tobago holds on with Lewis and Mathlin runs a storming anchor to confirm bronze for Grenada. Well, that was a marvelous race up until Nicoy Bramwell got the baton. Great battle between uh, Trinidad and Tobago and uh, Jamaica all the way through up until that last 400. Robert Miller, the 400 hurdles champion and record holder, goes in six. Webb of St. Kitts and Nevis, seven. And Vasson of French Guiana in lane eight. Off they go. Samuel Francis rolls quickly. Vincent is down. The Jamaican Michael Dwyer is going well. Dwyer has the lead chased by the Bohemian Wilson. Dwyer and Wilson. Dwyer gets there to win the gold medal. 13.79 on the clock downstairs. Michael Dwyer of Jamaica ahead of Jakaria Wilson of the Bahamas. And I think the 400 hurdles champion Robert Miller, the second Jamaican in the field, got up to take bronze. Confirmation, 1381 for Michael Dwyer. And the Jamaicans go back to back to back in the hurdles. That's three from three. Wilson, 1394 to take the silver for the Bahamas. That's a PB for him, of course, if it's wind legal. And Robert Miller, fabulous performance in the 400 hurdles. 1.8 the wind we're getting. 1397 for him, so personal best performances for the top three.